let us start the experiment first of all find out the course aws cloud foundation in the course click on the module so it will open the different module of course and in module number 4 you will find the laboratory which is a lab 1 introduction to iam click on it now in this window you just click on load lab 1 so it will open the new window where pre-configured lab will be available here uh, you will find the left hand side upper aws and then red dot that means lab it's not yet started on the right hand side you will find the different icon like start laboratory and laboratory so click on a start laboratory to start the laboratory as you click on a start lab that red dot will turn into the yellow and uh, we will wait till that yellow color turns into the green till that let us understand the lab overview this is the user user 1 and 2 and 3 and these are the group ec2 admin ec2 support and uh, s3 support im policies are assigned to each user so here this is a pre-configured lab that means this user and user group are already assigned and we need to verify and we need to check the functionality so now here you can see that this yellow color turns into the green and uh, our lab is ready to perform so i will click on that aws and uh, which will open the new window where i will find the aws console so this is my aws console home here i am going to check the area region so this is my region in virginia us east so it is better i keep remember where i am working now these are the services i can find the all services uh, by click on a view all services this will is the list of services you can go to the any module all these services are available into the aws into the search you can directly search your services I will search IAM and I will log in or I will go into the IAM dashboard. So left hand side I can find the user group, user and in dashboard I will find the detail. So click on a user. So here by just doing click on a user I can see that three user are already available and uh, the group or detail is available, last activity detail is available so many activities available you can scroll into the light side and you can find the detail so now i will check the user one detail where i can find the summary i can find the link for the arn i can find the permission i can find the group detail right now no group is allocated in the security credential i can find the console sign in link which is used to sign in as a user so this will be used in the future you can also assign the mfa but uh, we will follow the lab instruction so i will go to the user group and uh, three user group is already there ec2 admin ec2 support and s3 support and you can see that users is zero right now now let us click on ec2 support to check the detail of ec2 support here i can check the summary of the ec2 and uh, the user detail and in permission i can find the policies which assign a particular credential or you can say particular access to the user so here you can see that the permission is written into the json file format and uh, it is given into the different format of effect action and resources so effect is in form of allow or deny action is somewhat giving the instruction about the action and resource uh, that means what kind of resource is allocated to the user so you can copy this json file from here so we will check the all user group policies as per the manual guideline 
so i can minimize it now i will go to the user group again and i will check the policy for the s3 support so i will go to the permission and uh, i will find the policy that here these policies are different than the previous one uh, effect is allow for the particular s3 only you can see that s3 get list is available now go to the user group and check for the ec2 admin so here admin permission and uh, i will find the policies for the admin so admin has a permission to start and stop the instances so these are the policies assigned to the user group so now as per the laboratory i am going to perform the task where i am going to add the user into the particular group so here as per the diagram you can see or as per the business scenario which is given in the manual user 1 will assign to the s3 support user 2 will assign to the ec2 support and user 3 will assign to the ec2 admin group and now this is given a particular permission of read only access read only access and admin is given a permission for the view start and stop the instances so now i will first assign user into the user group so as per the first task i will go to the user group and then i will assign different user or as per the given scenario i will assign the user so into the user group first of all we will go to the s3 support uh, where i find the user and add user uh, now i will add the user user number 1 into this group so add user so now user is now enrolled into the s3 support so this is how i can add the user into the user group the same way i will assign into the ec2 support so click on it again the same process add user find the user as per the requirement user 2 click on add user so user is enrolled into the group now enroll the group ec2 admin and uh, add the user number 1 into this group user number 3 into this group so now uh, all the user are assigned into the user group you can check that user is one right now so this is how i can add the user into the user group which is a important task now as a new task or as a task 3 i am going to check the user permission so here i will go to the dashboard in dashboard i will find the url link so which is given over here so through this url link i will be able to log in as a different user user 1 user 2 and user 3 and i can check that whatever access i am given i am able to perform or not so let me first store this url into some notepad so i can use it so just open the notepad and uh, paste the url so you can use it again so now open any browser and uh, just paste that url which is used for the login so in this browser i just do paste and now it will open the page where i can do the sign in and the account id is already assigned so username is user1 and uh, password is also given into the manual so i will use the same password which is assigned for the user1 so here that password is lab password1 so now just click on sign in and i am enrolled into the instance as a user1 so user1 is given particular task or you can say particular right into the s3 support group so i will go into s3 and i will check that i am able to read or not so in s3 console 
you can see that I am able to see the or I am able to read the bucket. So general purpose bucket is available and I can read it. So that bucket is into the US East. Now let us click on that and uh, let me check if there is any thing or any object is available or not. So there is no object available but I am able to read the S3 bucket. So now let me check that if user 1 is able to access the EC2 or not. So I will go to the EC2. The permission is not given but let me check it. So in EC2 you can see that uh, uh, I will check the instances. So here it is written that you are not authorized to perform the operation. So uh, that policies are working properly. Uh, user 1 is not permitted to read the EC2. EC2 is permitted to read only user 1. So now let us check it. First of all sign out from user 1 and uh, again uh, use the same link for the login. So go to the notepad, copy the link and uh, paste it again into the web browser. So again you will find the sign in page and now you sign in as a user 2. So user 2 is given permission for the EC2. So username is a user 2, password is a lab, password 2, an account ID which is already given. So just sign in. And now check that you are able to read into the EC2 or not. So go to the services and find the EC2. It is also available in recently visited. You can click it from there also. So go into the EC2 console. Here now you can see that now I can able to see the instances. See, I can check that there are two instances running and I can read the detail. So here the permission is given for the read only. Let me check if I am able to stop it or not. So I will uh, select one instance and from the instance state I will try to stop it. As I am not given permission I should not allow to stop but let me check and verify. So go to the uh, instance state, try to stop the instant, click on the stop, now wait. So here, here you can see that some error message is there and if you read that message, they say you are not authorized to perform this operation. So again, the laboratory is working as per the policy. So user 2 is only have permission to read the EC2 instance. So now let us check logout from user 2. Again copy the link from the notepad and now I will uh, sign in as a user 3. So user 3 is admin. Admin can view start and stop the EC2 instant. So write down the username as a user 3 and uh, left password 3 is a password. Sign in into the laboratory. So now here I will check for the EC2 and I am admin over here, so admin can stop the instance. So again go to the services, go to the EC2, you will find the running instances, again two instances are running. Now let me start and stop it, so I will click the one instance lab host and I will try to stop it, so go to the instance state stop and then again click the stop and wait for the status so here their status is right now stopping soon it will get stop you can refresh the console it will take some time you can see that uh, two by two check status let me refresh now you can see that the instance is stop so this is how you are working as an admin now. So now I will sign out from user 3. So I have completed my laboratory. I will go to the main dashboard and uh, 
I will open the main lab page where I will submit my laboratory as I have completed all the tasks. Say yes. Now it will prepare a report for you and it will give you a final grade. And then you can check the same grade into the course file. So it is generating the grading. You can find the grade available over here. Each task is assigned a 5 out of 5 and total is a 14 grade. So now I can submit the lab and I can check the grade over here which will show the grade out of 100. It will also show the date and time detail. Now I can end my laboratory. I will go to the laboratory page. I will give end. So again that AWS and the road date will be available. So this is how I can perform the experiment. Thank you.